everybody, Dave Neal here. Boone the Bass Town's joining me. Can they see it, Boone? Let's see if we can see this here. Let's see if we can see this here. Oh, they can see it. Hey guys, Dave Neal here. Boone the Bass Town's joining me in the back of my car. I wanted to show you the first moment I realized my car had been broken into. And stick around to the very end and I'll show you the footage that my landlord captured of the thieves stealing my car battery for the fourth time. I don't even want to look. I, I refuse to look. There's my car. The hood is popped. I don't even want to know. I was so excited to get out of the house today and now I think my car battery was stolen. Please tell me it's not stolen. I was so excited to go somewhere today. My car battery was stolen for the fourth time. bummed so I decided to take an uber to the open mic anyway in an open mic it's usually like six or seven people in the room just a chance to work out some jokes some ideas get something off your chest it's kind of therapeutic I don't want the car battery thief to get the best of me so I'm walking to the post office I'm gonna drop off a package and then I'm gonna take an uber into Hollywood salvage a little bit of the day thank you This is what, this just happened to me. I wanted to talk to you guys about it. I just had my car battery stolen uh, for the fourth time, guys. Wow. <laughs> and this is my problem, is you're already on the car theft guy's side, I can tell. You know what I mean, like stray white guy, you should have just given it to them. I don't know. Uh, I took an Uber here, guys. My car battery was stolen today for the fourth at 10, 11 a.m. Well, I got the security footage, two people popped the, they just pop it and they take. So here's what I've been doing. When you have your car battery stolen, you buy a new car battery, then they f***ing steal a new one. That's what they do. Right? It's not a, it's not a, did you take it? Did you take the car battery? Yeah, you're right. F*** it, right. I'm going to go to AutoZone, get a new one. You're all in on it. You're in cahoots. So here's what I've been doing. is I, I, you get a new car battery, I then have to take it up to my third floor apartment with me. Like the saddest, like, businessman ever. Just looking like a briefcase. See, people don't even care. It's just, steal that f***ing car! Take the whole thing! I have a bit. I've been working on this bit since the first car battery 18 months ago it doesn't gonna last and then you guys come back and you go do you just keep on adding car batteries no they keep stealing them The one question everyone asks me in my relationship they go how did you convince her to say yes that's the one people are like how did a, how did she say yes to a comedian and I was like well I waited till she was 32. Because that's the deal, right? It's just a numbers game, right? So like, you know, I'm marrying a model, and uh, she's 30, well, she's 34 now. She's 32 when I asked. And uh, people say, like, how did you convince her to say yes? And it's like, it's just economics. Like, the longer I do stand up, the funnier I'll get. The longer she models, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, she's beautiful, but she's like that 12th year running back in the NFL with two blown in knees. You know what I mean? She can still find the end zone, but time's a ticket, right? You know what I mean? The funniest part about our relationship, yeah, she's picking me up because I'm on the car now. And, uh, <laughs> true, I love Tasha, I gotta love her. Uh, work these jokes out. So there's essentially nothing that can be done because there's no way the police are going to prosecute these people. You don't have a clear shot of their face. They don't have a license plate and it's like petty theft. The ring light, our landlord said the ring light never goes off. And he said it went off for that, which is very impressive because yeah. it's only supposed to go off when like someone comes to the door. But it got it, it actually caught my car, so it's actually impressive. Of the four times my license plate's been stolen, finding out that I actually have video of it is actually like reassuring. Because the first the first second he said he he texted me like right before I was about to go on stage and showed me the video and then I talked about it on stage. I was like, oh, at least I can make a vlog about this now, <laughs> you know? So, did you see him outside? 
was he like outside car gardening when you tried to get in your car or whatever? I just picked up the dog's crap. I just picked up the dog's crap. I looked at my car. I looked at the dent I've been meaning to fix from the other guy who kicked the door in. <laughs> and then the, I saw, looked at the handle that's broken off from the guy who tried to steal it. I looked at my new license plate that I just put on from the license plates that were stolen. And then I saw the hood was popped. I took Boone. I clipped his, I clipped Boone to the gate, you know, to the chain link fence. Yeah. And I said, I mean, I'm going to videotape. I guess I'm old, so I call it videotape. I'm going to record my reaction to seeing my car battery stolen. Because I knew when I opened that hood, unless so unless there was someone running around that just gets off by popping people's hoods and not doing anything, I knew because the hood was popped open that this was going to mean my car battery was stolen. And it was. And it turns out it was only stolen an hour or so earlier. And I even used my car in several days, but yeah. You know, right in front of our own place. So our landlord was obviously upset because you know he doesn't want it. He doesn't want his tenant to get robbed. But um, that's what happened. So he was outside when he, all this went down. He saw you videotaping. Yeah, and um, he actually offered to let me borrow his car. Oh, and I was like, really "No, come sweet. on." I was like, "No." So I took an Uber, and I actually took, got, took a nice nap in the Uber. Oh, yeah, and my mask on and my sunglasses and like the he, heat like, for my breath. He like wake you up when you get yeah, there. Yeah, he like nudged me and he's like, go on with your life. And I was like, love me. Um, yeah, so not a big, wow. not a big problem. Just a recurring an itch. A every four months replace your car battery itch. It makes me want to go buy two car batteries. That way, at least I have one ready for when the next one gets stolen you know because eventually i'm going to be in a bind so what are you going to do now that we know that they know where you live so they're going to come back for your new battery it, well when you say they you're assuming it's the same thief i think this is a racket that goes well all over the city. i i think it was the same thief at our old place that kept targeting you maybe but they did it like once every 10 months i think there is a group of people that drive around when they see a car that they know they can break into easily like an old toyota it's a smash and grab, but instead of smashing, they pull up, it's a two man job or a woman, husband and wife team, the old Thelma and Louise over here, and um, they steal it, they they, 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 they turn it into recycling for $10, or someone said that um, meth heads will steal it to cook meth, but I think it's actually just, they're, they're making a couple bucks. Maybe they're making 20 or 30 bucks selling it used, but you know, that's what it is. So that car battery was only probably six months old. Um, and we'll go buy a new car. The, the, the joy here is that my car batteries never get engine grease on them because they don't last long enough. So we found out Walmart has the cheapest car batteries you can get. They're like 80 bucks versus um, the other place sells them for like 120. So city living. But then again, it's a lot. Your hair looks beautiful, by the way, Tasha. Thank you so much, Wow, honey. a lioness right there. Look at this goddess. They were calling me Princess Leia in my fitting earlier because <laughs> I had little my, little, my little nubs on. But hey, this is second day curls. That's why you do those little buns. Second day curls. You can curl your hair in the morning and put it in the buns and then do a shoot at night. Or you can sleep on your little buns and then there you go. Second day hair. The more you know. $180. What? Yeah, and this, they've tried to sell me a more. $100 more than the Walmart one? Well, the Walmart didn't have them, though. There go my shoes. Yeah, th this actually hurts. It hurts right here. Why don't you, um, you didn't ask him to price match you? <sighs> it's a Dura, Dura last. This is the Walmart brand. It's a different thing. This is, he said his dad's got stolen, too. I feel like they're in goats. He goes, you know, if you return a battery, I'll give you an eighteen dollars back. And I go, that's why they're stealing mine, because they need to get eighteen dollars for the theft. All right, I'm not trying to be negative. It's just demoralizing. That's what someone makes in a day. That's a so day's what pay. What are you gonna? Um... I'm gonna take it out for six months and leave it in the trunk where no one looks for it. And then in six months and two days, the first time I forget to do it. Every time I go out to my car, I'm gonna wonder until I buy a new car. And then when you buy a new car, you're gonna wonder if they're gonna steal the catalytic converter. I mean, you're lucky they haven't stolen the catalytic converter. It's the older model Priuses that they get. Like, I don't know, I think. 
But I'll tell you what, even if you did have a new car, you'd be worried about other things. You'd been worried about parking on the streets. Yeah. It's like, I was saying this before, it's like having a tax. It's like every six months I buy a new car battery. That's the tax. City life. And then now someone's gonna leave a comment. Dude, you should try, shut it. I've tried it all. This is the solution. Doing nothing is cheaper than gate locking it. The, the guy behind the counter was like, you know, uh, this lady tells me she uh, chains. No, I'm not putting a, ch I'm not mad maxing my car, okay? I don't need a chain and an exhaust flare and a deadbolt just to turn my car battery on. I refuse to live in that universe. I'd rather be stolen like a man. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess I've got that privilege of having my car battery stolen on the daily. Just, you need to relax. You, you just need, I think you need a nap. Oh, yeah. Maybe we were born this way. Locked up in our dreams, no one needs to survive. So I just get on my knees and pray. And a lot of people have said, how come, how come I've never even heard of this before? Well, I just think I have one of those cars that people that steal car batteries know. It's an easy car to pop up the hood. And people have said, well, why, Dave, why don't you get a bolt to lock it down, to get a hood lock? Well, you know, a hood lock can be cut with bolt cutters just as easily. If you're gonna steal the car battery, you can also cut the hood lock. So that's happened. I had my license plate stolen, as you guys know, a few months ago, and they also kicked in my door. So I'm gonna try a trick that I saw on the internet about how to pop out um, a dent in your door. I'm gonna to attempt to pop that dent out with some packing tape. Let's see how it goes. I need to clean off the surface, make it nice and smooth, put a couple layers, like a nice little plaid kind of layer, and then pop them right out. Theft footage isn't anything too great. It's actually kind of sad to watch. You see a guy and a lady pull up next to my car. She's kind of like the lookout. He reaches underneath, pops the hood latch, and then they steal the car battery pretty quickly and they get away, no license plates, and um, you know, maybe they get 15 or 20 bucks for it on the black market. So, uh, you know, it's kind of sad to see. And you know what? I truly believe this. I don't think people want to be stealing car batteries. I think they're in a place of despair. There's a lot of poverty in this world, and you see it firsthand when people start stealing car batteries and siphoning gas and, you know, stealing your license plate. It's an unfortunate part of living in a big city, and it's part of the city tax we pay for. I look at it this way. I get to go to the beach and park on 3rd Street for free, and every once in a while, I have to buy a new car battery. I know people are going to say, oh, that's a great way to look at it. It's still a crime. I understand. Things could be worse, though. And, um, boy, I, w I, I would just leave 20 bucks under the hood and have them take that, but I, I feel like they would steal the 20 bucks and the car battery. All right. We're moving on in life. Cue the drone footage. <laughs> Get a nice, good-looking shot of that beautiful skyline. See you next week. Bye, guys. Don't make me dance to a tune that you're humming.